let's look at uh, cleaning up a little bit of data from a project. So once everything's registered and you're happy with your result, that's probably the best time to uh, go ahead and start using the clipping box. Typically, you can create a clipping box with one or three clicks, but easiest is the auto clipping box, especially if, uh, let me turn this guy back off. Anytime a clipping box is created, you'll see a, uh, uh, an option or a, or a object uh, in the structure view. I will delete this guy because I want to show you that it's really if you're in the smart view where there's this circle inside your 3D view, wherever that circle is, that's where the uh, actual clipping box will be focused on. So if I need to get rid of that car, for example, or the random remnants of something, I'll do my best to actually get it in the center, hit the clipping box, and you see that it actually focuses on it. There's a car. Is there more? Oh, there's more. And obviously, if I want to get rid of it, I'll just kind of nudge it up so that I don't, I'm not removing data inside the clipping box that I want to keep, but I can make it a little bigger. Uh, there's a car. Oh, look. Oh, if this happens, if your view gets all screwed up and now you're looking for uh, your actual point cloud and the clipping box, easiest thing is right clipping it and just hit locate. It'll take you back to it. Occasionally, the, the, the rotation point gets uh, confused and you can lose uh, focus of. Uh, where the clipping box goes, just like now. And when that happens, it's, it's sometimes difficult to get it back. So let me keep on going. See, I have pavement over here, and I don't want to get rid of the pavement. So I'll just do that. That These are, it looks like it's two cars. So let me deactivate the clipping box. See, that's what I'm actually going to be getting rid of here. And if I activate it back on, I see nothing that's relevant is going to be deleted. So right click, active clipping box, delete visible points. All the points are gone. Now, if I want to be fancy, I can just, uh, let's say we have this truck that drove by when we were scanning. We can just activate the clipping box again and kind of like stretch it to where I want to do it. But let's just do it the other way. So let me close this and again I'll just delete the clipping box. That way it's gone as an object but I didn't actually lose any data. But once again I'm focused on this thing. Hit clipping box again. Same thing as I said before. Meaning maybe I want the floor or the ground here. The road I want to keep. That cone is good too. So let me rotate around. And once I click here, I can actually hide that. Uh, that's a big truck. Is it tall? No. And there's nothing in front of it. There might be more, but this is all I'm concerned about. Once again, right click, active the box, delete points. Now, if I deactivate the clipping box, my noise is actually gone. So uh, if you want, you can also do this. We can actually, this is a, I guess, a panning uh, icon where I can actually pan the clipping box to a different location and just grab it and move it around that car that's there. So if I now activate it, you'll see that that car's in here again. I don't really know if there's more, so I'll have to make it a little bit, well, see more, include the ground, but I don't want to include the ground because it's slanted and I don't want to lose it. So I can actually go ahead and do this kind of a deal and maybe turn it a little bit and then when I bring it up I'm definitely not going to be deleting any of the underlying pavement here but again it's a car if I want to I can also do a polygon selection to get rid of whatever's inside my clipping box so say you have the roadway and you're thinking okay I can probably do this faster than having to mess with the orientation of the clipping box. Just hide the clipping box. This way, 
you don't see the extent of the box itself but now you can go ahead and kind of line yourself up and I'll kind of zoom in by a hair but you can line yourself up get the roadway perfectly flat and then you can hit the polygon selector over here and you can just draw this polygon around double click to close and then just right click on the selection and hit delete this deletes it yes you might have some remnants of it but essentially you created you did the same thing as you could do with a clipping box but you didn't clip out anything that was beyond the box by limiting your view and anytime you do editing like this it's also useful to let's say the whole project really only has a certain extent so we'll create a clipping box over here mind you i now have two over here so it sometimes gets difficult or confusing which one's active and which one isn't so if i actually activate this you'll notice that it'll be really interesting to see where that clipping box is so it's in there but i have to know that one smaller one's bigger so even though you're thinking that you're actually clipping you might not so that's why i can i tend to just delete the box that i was done with but let's say your project was you know only a couple of feet around the central area i might want to include the buildings but i don't care about let's say i really don't care about this building you can go ahead there's nothing to tell you and then there's nothing that uh, makes you have to keep that once everything's registered so like anything beyond the facade of the building over here unless we actually went in there so you know, let me square it away there see that noise over there for example we don't need that over here very sparse data so you can limit your view here the building facade is nice so i'm not going to cut it off but we'll limit the clipping box to this if there's any kind of noise that's floating in the air that you don't care about that reflection below ground you can actually limit here and now when I hit right click, I can actually, instead of deleting inside, which would be delete the visible points that we're seeing here, I can delete the invisible points. So essentially, I will be deleting the points that are visible here. So what I did here is I'm just activating uh, hide interior or hide exterior. So if I hide exterior, it'll show me what's inside the box. If I hide interior, it'll show me outside. But this is exactly what I'll delete if I make this active so only the inside is active and right clicking and i do delete invisible points that means it will delete everything that was outside the clipping box meaning when i deactivate the clipping box it's now gone and if i delete the clipping box you will see that none of the points that were there before actually show up so this is a very quick easy way to delete irrelevant data that might be cluttering your project itself and making your project size bigger if really you know that you're all you're concerned about is the area down here